Hey y'all, so we're starting off this week's video in the car already. If y'all like my hair, I did my hair myself, y'all. It's like a little half up, half down. Let me show you. See. Can y'all see that? But um, if y'all watch this video, I'm officially 27 years old. Today is October 8th. My birthday is October 9th. And I'm gonna go over to Dollar Tree right now. And I seen this girl YouTube video where she did like a change in my life in like 90 days video. So basically she posted it October 1st and the next, the last three months of the year, she just created all brand new goals, brand new everything. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna put a twist on it because my birthday is tomorrow too. So on one side of the board I'm gonna just do like my next 90 days like goals and dreams aspirations for like the next 90 days and then on the other side I'm gonna put like living 27 so everything I want to accomplish in this year of being 27 so y'all know my birthday is tomorrow October 9th so from October 9th 2023 to October 9th 2024 what do I want to accomplish in the next 365 days um, goals trips plans Plans, anything that I want to accomplish I'm going to put that on the board as well so we're gonna go over and get all the materials for that also too I don't think Dollar Tree sell magazines so I might have to go to the grocery store to get at least like two magazines because I just don't have time to go print out pictures from Canva not Canva from Pinterest so I'm gonna just do it old school I'm gonna just get probably two magazines from the grocery store and then I'm gonna be like physically writing out things as well so um, the vision board is gonna be two folds my last 90 days with well, the last 90 days of 2020 three what I want to accomplish and then my 2020 well not my 2020 but my next year of 27 so I'm gonna take y'all with me now and that's my phone oh yeah I did my phone so I'm gonna take y'all with me now and um yeah so happy birthday to all the Libras again and shout out to Scorpios because y'all up next okay but shout out to Libras and I'm gonna see y'all once we get to Dollar Tree it's officially winter time in Chicago. So now I'm here at Dollar Tree. We're about to get out the car. And then um, I'm wearing my little Gucci bag today. Period. I'm a little Gucci. Um, I'm about to get out the car. And I'm going to just. I, I'm honestly only here. I'm honestly only here for like the vision board stuff. That's the thing I got to buy to be honest. Okay y'all. We in the section. So I'm going to probably get some numbers so I can write down like you know year 27 90 days and then I want to get some letters too I'm just gonna just do black so that way I kind of can keep it simple as far as the letters I might get two letters just in case I don't know but they're only a dollar so well a dollar 25 so I'm gonna get those and then um Color is a dollar and then white is 50 cent, they say. Y'all know I'm gonna do pink. I don't know why I even thought about it. I'm gonna do pink. And I do need some, well, I need some, I need some markers. So I can write. Um, do they got black in here? I need some markers. I don't see, I only need a black marker. So. I'm gonna go back down here. I need a black marker. But a thick one. Mm, a thick one just like me. I love that. I'm just playing y'all. But not for real. See, I need a thick one like that, but in black. I don't see it. They got orange. Am I overlooking it, y'all? Like these, but these are thin. These are thin. Um. I might have to go blue. And you know what else? I don't want to make it too kitty. So I think keeping it simple is should be good, right? Okay, y'all. So now I'm in Walgreens. I feel like Walgreens got magazines. So let's look at the makeup stuff first. Even though I should not be buying no more makeup stuff right now, but I just can't help myself. So, um, mm -hmm. people be saying that what's that makeup? I be hearing good things about the Revlon makeup, 
and what's the other one? The Fit Me Maybelline, but the actual, what Maybelline at? Maybelline down here. The Maybelline makeup I hear like a lot about. I hope this background misty don't get copyrighted. I used to have the Maybelline, the Fit Me. If you're trying to look for beginner makeup, the Fit Me is a good one. And the color stay. What? Who got the color stay? I think it is Maybelline, but I don't see it. But let's go get these magazines. Okay, y'all, this is the magazine section. So I already picked this one up, people. Oh, you know I gotta get this one. How much is this one? $14.99? I did not know magazines were this expensive, y'all. No, I might not get this one. I want some with some good stuff on the inside of it. Vogue. Vogue might be a good one. Depending on how much it costs. $7.99. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, y'all. So, we're back at home. We're going to do a quick little haul very quickly. And then... I want to just work on my vision board and stuff like that. So I'm going to tell y'all the idea. Oh, this was for Halloween. I got this for my window. So I got two things of letters. Just if I want to write a couple words across. So I got two letters and then I got some numbers. So when I can put year, like I could just say year 27 or number 27 and then 2024. However I want to do it. Well, no, next 90 days, and then I'm going to do year 27, and then next 90 days. So, I'm going to do a goals list or ideas, plans for my year 27. So, from tomorrow until 2024, and then on the other side, I'm going to do one for the next 90 days of this year. So, I got words and letters. Y'all, I end up there finding some markers. Hopefully, they are actually big enough and not too skinny. I found some, they're, they're not name brand. I was trying to find like a Sharpie, but just some black markers. Okay, good. It's a thick marker. It's the thick kind that I was looking for. So we got those. Then I got a glue stick. So that way when I'm like taping some of my images or gluing my images down, um, I could just use the glue stick. Super nice, super quick and easy. Less mess. Then I got the Sharpie, another Sharpie, a blue one, just to kind of put in my office because I'm always needing a marker for something, okay? I love me some Sharpies. So, I just got an extra one of those now. And then, that's all I got from Dollar Tree? I guess so. Girl, that was $17. But I did get some Halloween stuff, but this video not about that. I'll probably include my Halloween decorating and probably in this video or the next video I do. So then, I got three magazines, y'all. Um, the magazine, I don't know if it's because like we're like in like a digital age now, but I feel like when we were younger, we had some really good magazines. Like we didn't have, I didn't see like any black people magazines like BET or like Jet. I could have sworn that that was still in style. I don't know, but I did get three magazines. So hopefully I can find some good stuff in here. This one is L and then this one is HGTV and then this one is People Magazine. So hopefully I get some good stuff. The L one had like a lot of like little designer stuff like on the back of this one it says Dior. So y'all know, y'all know it's like aesthetic stuff. So like they got like Ralph Lauren. This one is David Yearman. So Miss Dior. So yeah, so it got some Coco Chanel. So it got some decent stuff in here, like more so of like fashion stuff. Forbes, like I seen the Forbes creator list, baby. Taylor should have been on that list. Me, like Chanel in here. So that's that magazine. And then this magazine is just like, um, like home ownership stuff. So I don't get too, too much into that, but y'all get the gist of that. And then People Magazine is just really People Magazine, just like about different celebrities and stuff like that, like Oprah and The Rock, Serena and Venus Williams. So we'll see what I what I get into. We'll see. I'm gonna just do like the layout. I'm probably, I'm gonna let y'all watch me do the layout and then I'll work on it a little bit and I probably will see y'all probably maybe tomorrow. I'm not for sure. Um, I probably will give y'all a quick run through of my 
vision board, but I won't really explain everything. So right here, I'm going to put in some clips of my birthday party. Um, Y'all, it was so lit and so fun. is October 10th so my birthday was October 9th which was yesterday I went out to eat downtown I stayed downtown Chicago um, and I just got home I just got ooh, I just got home um, probably like two or three hours ago and I packed up all my orders now I'm gonna head to the post office and drop these orders off because I ain't gonna lie y'all I do got a few orders that's been sitting since like October 6th and y'all know me I usually ship real real fast but it was my birthday week, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just kind of do less work and kind of just enjoy my birthday, enjoy coming into year 27. And that's exactly what I did. I enjoyed um, my birthday. Now it's back time to work. So we're gonna go to the post office and drop off all these orders. And then when I get back home, I'm going to, um, when I get back home, I'm going to put together my bedding and stuff like that. Cause my mama bought me my mom, she bought me um, a bed set for my birthday. That's how y'all know when y'all get old. Like, when your parents start buying you stuff for your house that you need, baby, I was so happy because if y'all know, bed sets and stuff is expensive. So she bought me a bed set, she bought me a mattress pad, all that y'all, everything that I need. So, uh, let me open the door, hold on. So yeah, so she bought me all that um, and I'm thankful for that. So next time I see y'all, we'll be at the post office.
I'm in here looking for a new everyday bag. So this bag is my West and it's 34. And this bag is Aldo and it's 39. I'm trying to think. The now West bag, the Aldo bag is a little small. And the now West bag is a little big. Hmm. Okay, y'all. So let's open up my birthday gifts. So, um, most people gave me money for my birthday. The people that did give me gifts got me money. Then my mom got me a bed set. So, I would include the bed set in this video after I put it on. And then she also gave me some money, of course. And now we're going to go into all the gifts. So, my boyfriend gave me a necklace and matching earrings I got on. And he also bought me this Versace Bright Crystal set, y'all. So, basically, let me tell you our story. So, basically... Um, I, I show him videos all day, every day of just like different shopping stuff because you know, my TikTok page is like a shopping niche or whatever too. So I'm come across like a lot of shoppers or whatever. So I show him like, oh my God, like Versace got like this little gift set thing. Like, it's just so cute. I was just telling him just to tell him like, you know, I, I just knew it was cute. And then I did know that it was like 150 on the website, but I didn't buy it because I'm like, you know what? Like I gotta just stop shopping all the time. So he didn't ask me to send him a picture. He didn't ask nothing. He just looked at it and he was watching football. He was like, oh, okay. And y'all, he got it. So it came with this little Versace little bag. And you can actually wear this as like a little purse. It's purple. And it has like, uh-oh. OMG, y'all. I don't even know where I left off talking, but it's a stray cat in my building, y'all. Like, I don't know. Oh, let me fix y'all. So like y'all know I love cats because I have a cat. So I don't know if it's like my neighbor's cat or whatever, but some way, somehow a cat got inside the building and the cat literally was bent at my door. Like I've been hearing a cat, but I thought like maybe, cause like my next door neighbors across the hall, she has two cats. So I'm like, maybe just like, you know, her cats are playing. But I'm like, okay, y'all, this is this is just like too loud. I walk outside y'all, it's a cat outside on my, on, on my basically on my uh, little porch. So, somebody upstairs don't let the cat out, and the cat is out, but we're gonna finish the video. So this is like a little pouch, it's like a Versace pouch, it says Versace on there, and then it comes with a, I think I was telling y'all how I wanted this set or whatever, but I wasn't gonna really buy it for real because I'm like, I'm not spending my money. But my boyfriend, he ended up getting it for me, surprised me with it, so it has a body lotion and then a shower gel, and then it also comes with a full-size bottle of Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. I love, love, love. Let me clean the screen off, y'all. Hold on. So I love Versace Bright Crystal, the regular one. So the Absolute smells well as good. Oh, it smells good as well. So that is that. And it just comes like a little pouch. So I, I could use this pouch as like a little makeup bag. And it's Versace. So that's that. And it came in a cute little box. I'm going to keep that. So then the next thing I got, um, well, this is like a birthday surprise. So we ended up going, cause I had, we ended up staying downtown last night. And I was like, let's go to Coach because I knew I wanted that, the Coach Shine purse, like the Coach Shine. So we went to Coach, they didn't have a purse, but I saw these shoes, y'all. Oh, now I got my free birthday gift from Sephora. We get to that next. So I saw these shoes. I'm like, hold on. Like, cause they was in the men's section, but that don't really matter. So I saw the shoes. I was like, these shoes kind of cute. Let me see, let me see what's to them. So I got some shoes and I got a size seven. That's the size I wear in men. And y'all, look at these shoes. Like, you cannot tell me that these shoes are not cute. I already, excuse me, I already posted a real, not a real, a shorts, a YouTube shorts on the shoe already. Super, super cute. And they were $225. So, not too bad for a designer shoe. Coach is really stepping this game up. Super, super cute. I cannot wait to style these shoes. Like, I just, I need more sneakers anyway. Because I'm not, I've never been like, I've never been a sneaker girl. Well, I have, I was a sneaker girl in like elementary school and high school. I got to college, joined a sorority, and I became like a regular shoe girly. Then I end up, so I don't have many sneakers at all now. So I do want some like sneakers, but I only want designer sneakers. So I do have a pair of Gucci's, Gucci sneakers that I do have. And now I got a pair of Coach, things like that. So I want, a, I want some Chanel trainers next. So then I went to Sephora and got my free birthday gift. 
they did not have a Dior that I wanted. So I just ended up getting um, Glow Recipe. So it's just the receipt and it was zero dollars because it was my birthday gift and I am a beauty insider. And then I got the Glow Recipe. Let's see, I don't even know. I, I just be seeing it on TikTok and stuff. So I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops and then the Water Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. So girl, I'ma see. I'ma look up some videos um, on TikTok of it. And yeah, so I just got that. And just say happy birthday. It just says happy birthday on like the little box. So then my best friend gave me a $100 Ross gift card. I didn't go to Ross today um, because I want to go at like a, I might go tomorrow. So she gave me a $100 Ross gift card. I'm going to go, you know, do my shopping TikTok. But I did go to Fab Below and now I'm just using some of the money I got for my birthday. So I just got like a little thing to go on my head. You know, in Chicago, it gets cold. So like a little hair wrap thing to go on my head. Um, once the winter time comes and then I got this word search y'all so I'm gonna challenge myself cuz I um, I don't know if, yeah in this video y'all see me get like my vision board like my next nine days my year 27 so I'm gonna challenge myself to do at least one word search a day for the rest of the year simply because Simply because I want to just do other things that's just not be on my phone all day. Like for me, be on my phone is usually working. I'm usually working on my phone, but I do want to just take some time to just, just literally just be myself and just be to myself, think to myself. So I figured this word search would just be that. I do have a puzzle as well. I might work on a puzzle one day with y'all. So if y'all want to see that video, comment the word puzzle down below. But yeah, I'm gonna just be taking taking my time and working through all these word searches. And it says it's volume three. I don't know. I don't know if it's like different ages or not, but whatever. So last but not least, we went over to Marshalls, of course, and we shopped at Marshalls, and I spent one hundred and five dollars. Well, actually, one hundred and four dollars. Let me tell y'all the exact. $104.45 and I use my birthday money for that. So we're gonna unbox everything and then um, I'm gonna let y'all watch me do whatever I gotta do. Like honestly, I gotta clean up. I gotta do a lot of stuff, but yeah, the day is going fast. So I got these slip resistant hair setting clips, no dent or creases. Honestly, did I need these? No, but did I just see them on TikTok and want to buy them because everybody else on TikTok got them? Yes. I want to just be honest here. So I got them because I seen all the other girls with them. Um, that's just how it works. And then I got this shirt, y'all. It's a Zara shirt, y'all. This Zara shirt was $12. It was on sale for $12, y'all. And it's Zara, as y'all can see. Let me see. Can y'all see that? Yep. It says Zara. And this is so cute. Y'all know how I do. So if I wear this to church, I'm going to, you know, wear it fully buttoned. But when I wear it out, I'm going to, you know, tie it up. I feel like it's just such a cute shirt. Um, And I got a size extra small. I didn't even try it on, to be honest. But I figured an extra small would be good enough. Let me, let me put the sleeves in at least. Okay, y'all. I ain't going to lie. The sleeves like a little short. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. But extra small is good enough and then i got this little wrap i told y'all in one of my videos that i'm trying to get more like more bougie like more classy dressing and stuff like that so i got me like one of these little throw things that you wear um again like i said i can wear this to church and i can also wear it when i go out like you know at nighttime and just like a cute little throw or whatever super cute i can see myself wearing like an all black fit with like this you know, being real cute and sophisticated and classy based as we enter year 2024. And I'm 27 now, so I can get more classier. So then I got some One Size by Patrick Star. If y'all don't know what One Size is, it's like a brand by a beauty influencer, Patrick Star. And this is the Go Off Spray. So this is the makeup remover. So he has a setting spray in a remover in the same exact can. Now, Patrick, why would you do that? Because what if I do my makeup real cute and get the cans mixed up and I spray the go off spray and not the setting spray? 
Oh, it's, it don't have any no smell to it. So this the go off spray. So this this the remover. Then I got some house shoes because maybe these can go to the garbage today. I'm throwing these away today. I'm embarrassed. So I got some new house shoes. Um. So these are pink. Y'all already know these are twelve ninety nine. These are pink. Y'all already know if it's not pink, I don't want it. But I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better. So these are my new slippers I'm gonna be wearing around the house. And then last but not least, I did get a new everyday bag. This is Aldo and it was 40, it was $40. It's Aldo cause baby my Mark Jacobs bag is living in, it's, it's getting war, it's getting war out. Okay, I got that bag with me and I Tasty in 2021. So yeah, it's, it's time. It was time to get a new bag. So let's just open this bag all the way up. It comes with like a little uh, strap. And I like bags with straps though. Um, I'm gonna always be a strap girly for sure. Even though like, you know, wearing your bag like this in your hand, it's kind of cute sometimes, but not in the city y'all live in, baby. You gotta put that bag on your shoulder. Now, one thing about me, I don't like wearing my bags across my body anymore. Like, I feel like that's just so elementary school. Like, <laughs> To me, it's kind of like elementary, like wearing your bag like all the way across like your chest. That's what we did in elementary school. So don't don't look, don't don't fight me. Don't fight me in the comments if you still wear your bag like that. Like continue to do what you want to do. But that's just that's just like me, in my opinion. So I don't okay, so it kind of it's kind of like a crisscross strap or whatever. So a cute little, let me see. Cute new, new everyday bag. It's not as big as my Marc Jacobs tote bag, but it'll do. And then it's just spacious, so I can put my wallet in there and stuff like that, and then you can zip it up. So this gonna be my new everyday bag, y'all, cause like y'all know I got, and then I, I got some y'all like with the sneakers. I only want designer sneakers. Um, with the same thing with the bags. So starting, like moving forward, I only want designer bags. Yes, Aldo, or I guess like name brand, or like the name brands I like. So like Aldo is still gonna be good. Michael, Michael Kors is gonna be good. Coach is gonna be good. Marc Jacobs is good. Then like my Louis Vuittons, my Gucci, things like that. So I only want to really, I only want to wear like designer bags from like moving forward. So like my Shein bags, my Taboo bags, like all those bags are being sold on my website. I might have some on my website right now. Y'all can check to see. Um, but I have been selling those bags all year long. So I'm no longer in the space of, you know, like not fast fashion, but like with the Tamus and the Shein bags. Like nothing wrong with them. We all start with them, but after a while, you know, you want to just kind of elevate and level up a little bit. So that's kind of where I'm at in like my personal life journey. But other than that, y'all, that's everything I got for my birthday. And then, like I said, my mom got me some bedding. So I'm going to go put that together now. I might show y'all the process. And then if not, I'll probably talk to y'all a little bit later on or tomorrow. I feel like that's a little bit too high up. But... Mm. Or I probably can, cause this is like my Louis Vuitton corner right here. So we'll see, let me see. I'm finna try to, might bring this down and put that down, down there. Good morning. So y'all probably be like, girl, you look crazy. I know I do, but I'm about to do my lashes. So I'm going to do some DIY lashes. Why don't I just show the mirror? Ah, y'all, it's been like a long weekend, okay? I'm still on my birthday high, period. So um, I'm looking in this mirror and then I'm gonna just do some DIY lashes real quick from VI's. Um, they sent me over this DIY lash kit and I think I've done my lashes about three times using this. So this time I'm going to just use these dramatic lashes and kind of see 
what it do um so it comes with a the lash like the lash bond and seal and then it also came with a tweezer thing let me try to find it real quick y'all oh here we go so it came with like a little tweezer thing that y'all can like pick up the lashes with um yeah i think that's all that came with it it came with so they sent me over these three and then the bonding seal and then why do i feel like stuffy like girl girl if i'm about to get sick again i'm gonna be so mad i i don't have time for this i do not have time for this like i have probably the world's weakest immune system so i'm gonna try to use because usually so the first time i tried this i used the bonding seal and it stayed the second time for some reason it was not sticking to my lashes so i just used regular like regular lash glue so this time we're going to try to use the bonding seal that it came with i'm looking for a um cotton cotton pad real quick kind of to just wipe off my eyes i guess because maybe my eyes were too oily because y'all know i oil my face down honey okay so maybe that was it i don't know and then i'm just using this mirror so we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna let y'all watch me do a couple pieces and then I might either fast forward y'all up or come back to y'all once it's done. So the first thing you're gonna do, this is not, like I said, not a tutorial. I do have a tutorial on my TikTok. So go ahead and go ahead and watch that. So this is the last, the lash bond. And what I've learned too, just like with regular glue, you gotta like let it get a little sticky first. So put it on. Y'all know y'all can't talk doing these parts. Like, my eyelashes are so freaking curly. So, I have curly lashes. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing, too, um, in a minute. So, you go longer on the outside and then shorter as you get in. So, I'm going to go with the longest ones they have, which is 16 um, mm. So, I'm going to do 16s. I'm going to do probably two of each, like two 16, two 14. See, it's not sticking for me. I don't, like, honestly, I don't even see how the girls be doing it, like, on their first try. But, I mean, it probably, it's probably not their first try either. Okay. So, that's that one. Oh, you see? It still ain't even sticking. Okay. I think it's hard for me to do this because my lashes are so curly. When I say so curly, okay. So that's that was two sixteen. So now I'm gonna go up and do two fourteens. I might have to reapply the glue. Okay, so it's sticking better now that it's like, I guess, a little tacky. So definitely let the lashes get like tacky first. And I'm gonna do two rows. Yeah, I'm gonna do two rows as well. So can y'all kind of see like, again, it's not perfect, baby. I ain't no lash artist, it ain't perfect, but it just go do for the day, you know? And these kind of last, these did, like when I first did it, uh-oh, I just dropped that one. When I first did it, um, they lasted about four days because after the fourth day, I was like, you know what? I got to wash. Okay, y'all. So this is what they're looking like. Um, they came out pretty good. This eye was easier than this eye, but I feel like that's just how it always is. Like one eye is going to be always better um, or easier than the other, like once you get the hang of it. So let me just look straight. And so y'all can kind of see. Again, they're not perfect because I'm not a lash artist, but they're gonna do what it's gonna do. Now I'm about to just do like when I say quick, like quick makeup, like really quick makeup. Um, I've been using the Elf Brow Lift lately, y'all, and it's been working really good. This Elf Brow Lift, y'all should get that. So especially if you have like thicker eyelashes, like not eyelashes eyebrows like me all you need to do is just let me show y'all brush them up and then mold them into place and they're gonna stay all day like i have thick curly 
I got thick curly hair as all of my body, okay? I'm a, I'm just a hairy person. I have hair on my arms, legs, my hands. So, if you have thick hairs, especially like in your eyebrows or something too, try to get you some of this brow lift, e.l.f. brow lift. It was only $4. So, y'all see how like my brows is just like crispy now? It was only $4 from... I got this one from Walgreens, but I'm pretty sure you can get it from anywhere. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and outline my brows really quickly. Y'all, I wasn't feeling like this little nugget in my nose and throat until right now. And I don't have time for that. Y'all, I gotta go get me, oh, okay, today I'm gonna get me some more tart Shape Tape for real. Cause honestly, that's my favorite, favorite, favorite like concealer. And it's like the perfect color for me. So I'm gonna just um, underline my brows real quick i do have a tutorial um i did post a tutorial on my tiktok of how i did my birthday makeup honestly it was cute i liked it i got like positive vibes from it like positive feedback from the people who watched it but i feel like i think i did my makeup a little bit too dark like i was so focused on making sure that i didn't look like a ghost that i feel like i could have did it a little bit lighter like in terms of the shade because like my makeup by mario foundation that i have i feel like it's like a little bit too dark so i might go and get a different shade of it so this is my makeup by mario so it looks like it's okay but over time it got like a little darker so this is 24 in so i'm probably wanna i'm gonna take both of those with me today in case i do run out to sephora or run across to sephora today so now I just do like this to my eyebrows. And when I say I'm not really doing much makeup because I don't think I'm going. Am I going? Yeah, I'm going to go. Oh, y'all. I know this is random. But I, so I, I watched this girl video yesterday of her making some Rotel tacos, y'all. And so y'all already know I'm about to do that today. So this is the Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist. So you spray this on your face before and after makeup. And I'm only doing this super light because, like I said, I'm literally just going to the grocery store. So, yeah. So, she did. So, she made some Rotel tacos, y'all. And when I tell y'all I'm doing that today, I'm doing that today. So, I'm going to just do a half a pump of foundation on my face. And that's going to last my whole entire face. So, y'all can kind of see it. Y'all see it's right there and right there and a little bit right there. That's all I'm going to use. And I'm going to just take my brush and spread it all the way out so i'm gonna go get the stuff to make the rotel taco so basically it's just rotel like the i never first off i've never had rotel and i've never made rotel but so she just used basically like use like the rotel cheese and like the the tomatoes and the onions all that and she mixed it up she then so then she poured it on top of the taco so so on her taco shell, she had a taco shell, she had lettuce, she had sour cream, she put the meat on there, then she poured the little Rotel cheese sauce on top. So I'm going to do that today. So y'all will see me do that as well. And then, yeah. So y'all see how like this foundation kind of make me look like a little tanned, I feel like. I feel like it make me look a little tanned than like, you know, normal. Not saying that I look solely different because y'all can see my neck and my face match. But I feel like it's giving me like that bronze tan look. If y'all if y'all get it, y'all get it. I, I hope I'm explaining it correctly. So now I'm going to just go in with some concealer uh, close to my shade in the insides. And then another thing too, I need to, I want to start, um... I need to go get matched up for all new makeup because I don't know. I just have this whole idea that once the new year start, I got to get all new makeup because, you know, most makeup, honestly, most makeup do expire like within like 12 months. And I think all this makeup that I have right now, a lot of it came with me from Atlanta and I've been back in Chicago for a year now. So, yeah. Y'all, it's like a little piece that was kind of irritating me. So now I'm going to just blend out this concealer. And I guess this kind of could be my unofficial little makeup video. 
that y'all be asking me about. Y'all be asking me all the time to do makeup videos. So right now, I just blend it out a little bit with the brush and then I go back and I blend it even better with my beauty blender. Some people, some girls say that they do their blending better with a brush. I do my blending better with a beauty blender. And I'm not doing all this extra stuff like super bright under eye and all that today because I'm only going to the grocery store and I'm coming back home. But I do have some content. Do I have content to film? I think I, I do have content to film. So I always got something to film. So I'm going to stop talking and then I'm going to come back to y'all once I'm all done. Okay, y'all, so this is like the little quick little makeup. Like I said, nothing too serious. And then I have on this two-piece from OQQ. I'll have the information linked down below. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. Now I'm about to go figure out my hair. I need to figure out my hair situation um, really quickly. I'm also in the process of like coloring one of my curly wigs, like brown. So I'm about to go check on that or whatever. And then... Um, I'm hungry, so we're gonna go, we're gonna run out. We're gonna run out. If I have to wear my birthday wig one more day, that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Um, okay. Ooh. So, I'm coloring this wig. Let me try to show y'all. Let me see if I can switch y'all up. So, y'all know I love brown, brown hair. So, I got it in like this little wig steamer. I will have it linked, but see, the hair is now brown. Super, super cute. So I'm about to just wash it, and then we're gonna see if I'm gonna wear this. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. This is what the hair is looking like. Super, super cute. I just kind of um, defined, the, not defined the curls, but I kind of um, just washed the hair and just let the curls be. The curls are definitely soaking wet still, but I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm about to head out. So I'm just hitting it with the hot comb at the top. And y'all can hear that. That's because this hair is like really, really wet. Um, but I'm I'm so hungry, y'all. So I'm about to go to the grocery store and get what I need for this. Um get what I need for these tacos. And it's a glueless wig, so it's literally no glue on it at all. I didn't let me see, darn it in jail. But I'm not gonna cut the baby hairs. I'm just gonna like soup soup some hair i really want to do like y'all know how the girls been doing like that little one soup at the front i love i like that little one soup like i've been seeing people talk about the girls with the one soup at the front but i feel like the one soup at the front has been cute so we're gonna try to do it too should i get some canes I'm mad that this piece of hair is damaged. Like, dang, why did it? Okay, so this is what today's glam is looking like. Um, I did my makeup a little bit. I did my hair. I like the little edge. I ain't gonna lie. And then this is what I'm wearing. My outfit. So, um, let's, let's finally get up out of here, y'all. I've been prepping and priming. For like I said, like two hours. So now I'm about to, y'all look at my birthday wig. The birthday wig is going to the garbage, baby. It's so crunchy. So this is the bag that I purchased from Marshalls yesterday. It's Aldo, it's black, and it kind of similar. It's similar to the um, tote bag from Marc Jacobs. But baby, this tote bag from Marc Jacobs is tired. Truth is, it's tired, okay? I don't wear that purse out since 2021. And if y'all know me, I don't like wearing the same stuff too too long because then it's giving like you don't got nothing else <laughs> so no offense i'm not trying to fan people so this is my wallet well i must be recording for tiktok honestly i'll just do another tiktok later so i'm put my wallet in there and then this is like my little cosmetic pouch it has like feminine hygiene products i have some lash glue uh wipes stuff like that i put that in there as well hand sanitizer and some gum it also has like a little pocket, so I'm gonna just probably stick that in the little pocket part. Uh oh, both of them came for the near. Um, and then I do have some napkins, tissue, a pen, and my lip gloss. Like, where my lip gloss at? Where's my other lip gloss? My lip gloss. I can't. I I literally. 
if it's one thing, like they know when y'all know, like when they be like, if you could take five things to the desert with you, like what would you take? The lip gloss would be number one before my phone. Like the lip gloss would be number one before the phone. Okay. Then I'm going to just put like a little head tie, like a little scrunchie in there. And I'm going to let this purse get a, a rest. Okay. This purse, I've been wearing this purse all summer. So this is my new little everyday purse going into the winter time. And y'all, we about to head out. We about to head out. Should I put on a, a sweater? A sweater or a actual like jean jacket? Cause y'all know I love me a good cardigan. I need like a longer cardigan. Let me see what this one is giving. Let's see if this one is giving. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. It's giving what it's what it needs to give. It's giving. Mm hmm Yeah. Let's get into it and put my bracelets down. Put my hair together. Oh yeah. This little outfit. You know, it came together cute. Okay, y'all. So I just put on some ankle socks and just got the call today, okay? So um I'm gonna try to pull these tight because these shoes definitely are a little bit too big. But hey. I got to get some content in them anyway, so I might as well go on and have to do what I got to do. So, next time y'all see me, we'll be on our way out the door, okay? Okay, y'all. So, I'm back in from the grocery store. I went over and got everything I needed for the Rotel. I'm going to include a clip of that at the end of this video. But I do get some canes for my lunch. I'm about to eat that now. And if you made this part of the video, hit that subscribe button. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.